Get Sergeant Boswell. That's all there is. The line's gone dead, Sergeant. White Eagle, sir. Hello, Chief. Colonel. They explained the situation? Yes, Colonel, but it is not possible. Well, even though the message was garbled, we're almost certain the word Indian was included. Isn't that correct, Boswell? Yes, sir. But, Colonel, there are no Sioux in direction of Medicine Bend, and no Sioux on Warpath. You're positive? Yes, Colonel. Boswell. Yes, sir? Fine sergeants. Mary Deal and Barrett, I want them at once. Sir, they're off duty, sir. Well, Sergeant. Sir, they're in Claymore, sir. And you know what that means, sir. Find them, Boswell. Yes, sir. I can dance, but I can't. Oh, yeah, you can. You can play and dance. <laughs> to stop us? No. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
Sergeant Murray, report to the Colonel. At once! That big white mule. Mr. Purdy gave it to me. He also gave me this trumpet, which I've been playing since I was knee high. Who was Mr. Purdy? He was my master. He freed me after the war. He said to me, Jonah, that's my name, Jonah. He said, Jonah, I'm ruined. So you take Sefi and that blasted horn and you get. You're a free man now. So I get. Uh, who is Sefi? This here, Sefi. That's not a real name. A real name is Bucephalus. But that's too hard to say. Where are you heading? With you. With us? <laughs> it's impossible, son. You better go on back. Go back where? I ain't got no home, Sarge. I'm just drifting. But I'm looking for a home, though. Well, I'm afraid there's no home for you where we're going. Well, I've been around animals all my life. Horses and mules. Couldn't I work around the fort for my keep? I don't think we're taking on any help. Sergeant Mike, I could play the trumpet for you when you fellas are feeling low. Or I could join up. Well, I sure would like to be a soldier dressed in pretty blue uniforms like you fellas. Let him come. Sure, Mike, why not? Come on. I didn't write the regulations. It can't be done. I'm sorry. Come on, get up there.
It's a thing I'll not tolerate. Do you understand? I will not tolerate it. You men are sworn to protect the property of the people of this community. Not break it up, not smash it up. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Well, you pay for it. Down to every last dime you'll pay for it. All the glasses, the mirror, the furniture, everything. Boswell? Yes, Colonel? You will tell the owner of the Antler Bar to present his claim to the paymaster, who will make the proper deductions from the vouchers of Sergeant Mary, Deal, and Barrett. Yes, sir. Sir. You have something to say for yourself, Sergeant Mary? Yes, sir. I mean, that is, well, the buffalo hunt has busted up half the place, and they should pay their share. Are you arguing with me, Sergeant? No, sir. Let me remind you of what I've already said. You did listen, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir. They're citizens. And your soldiers are supposed to be. Yes, Sergeant? Nothing, sir. Very well. Now, let's just say that I happen to need you men at the moment. You know, merely paying for this is not going to settle the matter. We'll discuss further punishment later. You know, maybe I should teach you men the value of those stripes by taking them away from you. Sergeant Mary. Sir. You will assemble a detail and proceed at once to Medicine Bend. Telegraph line is out there under very mysterious circumstances. We received what our telegrapher believes to be a distress call when the line went dead. You're to investigate the situation and report back to me as soon as possible. That'll be all. Yes, sir. You go along with them, Wilson, and see that they get started. Yes, sir. Aaron Red Hook. Who? Jesper Molino. Ah. Blue Pigeon. John Tippy. There. Red Eagle. Oh. Caleb Iron Mountain. Oh. Aaron Red Hook. Oh. Red Eagle. Oh. Blue Caleb. Pigeon. Yes, Sergeant. Where'd that big white mule come from? What big white mule, Sergeant? That big white mule. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. He give you that saddle? Well, Sergeant. He's a very good man with the mules and horses, Sergeant. Very good. And he could use a helper. That's right. Remember, son, you're a civilian. You're not part of the military. You got it? Yes, yes, sir. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. who follow us, Sergeant. Who is he? Well, he... I, uh... So you wouldn't listen, huh? Listen to what, Sergeant Mike? I told you, this is no place for civilian. This is an army detail. But there's so many horses to take care of. And I can carry water, too. You better go back. Go on back to the fort. It's against regulations, so go on back to the fort. Well, he don't understand. I'll explain. 
Okay, you do that, Sergeant. Is Caleb following back there with the rear guard? Yes, Sergeant. All right, you go back there and stay out of sight. But Sergeant Mike, stay said... out of sight. Well, what do you make of it? I don't know. Nice quiet town. Let's have a look. Yep. Ask him, baby. You made him understand, huh? Still with that detail there. Still with the detail. Anything happens to him, I'm going to see you get court-martialed. Let's uh, take a look around. Huh? You're posting sentries? Both side to town, Sergeant! Dennis? Seen any Indians? How do you figure this? I don't. Go get those horses some water.
Who are you? Ask him who he is. Tu que ya te He says he's from the far west beyond the mountains. Two moons. That's 2,000 miles. He's crazy. What do we got here? I don't know. No arms, nothing. Look at those markings on his vest. Never saw Indians like this before. Watanka! 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 Wanahi Wachipi! Wahani Wachipi Wahunabla! Wahani Wachipi Wahunabla! Watanka!
Jonah. It's no time to dig holes. Yes, Sergeant. I'll go across the street to the barber shop and cover you.
will you stop clowning around and get up here? Those men report to my office immediately. Yes, sir. Well, that's it. That's what? I'm through. Through so with what? The army. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, we heard that song before. Oh, you think I'm joking? I could have been blown to bits 50 times on that roof. I'm tired of tempting fate. That's it. Don't tell me good old Larry's a coward. Now, you know better than that. Four days I'll be out, and I'm not going to re-enlist. What do you plan to do? Go back east, read law. I went to college. Not like you ignorant apes. Now you hurt me. For some reason or other, I can't picture you in a frock coat and a stiff collar defending a bunch of thieves. By the way, uh, getting married. You're getting married? What did he say? The explosions, you know. The... Get married? That's what he said. My certificate. Married? Mm -hmm. Amelia? Prettiest girl in town? Not only the prettiest girl in town, but her, her father's an ex-major and he's got a lot of... Smart guy. Smart enough to be out of the army in four days and married in five. Meanwhile, I hope you don't mind reporting to the colonel's office. He's waiting for you. Indians who attack you will wear that? Yeah. And this. Colonel. The ghost dancers. Yes. The Wanahi Wasipi are here in our land. The ghost dancers are from the country beyond the western mountain. They're followers of a fanatic religion. A religion of death. Their medicine man is Watanka, who says he is the son of the sun, Watanka. That's a name that that guy kept yelling. That's it. That's right. They believe that when all white men have been killed, the buffalo will return in millions, like in the old days, and that everything will be as it once was. Hey, I used to have an uncle like the... Sergeant Mary, you'll reassemble a detail to act as garrison at Medicine Bend. Let me caution you. We have no way of knowing when or where this trouble may break out again. You are to act as a garrison only, remaining in constant communication with me. You stay in the town. There will be no scouting expeditions or no sorties or anything of that kind. Is that understood? Yes, sir. I understand. I'll see the Sergeant Dale and Sergeant Barrett do it right away. Not Sergeant Barrett. His enlistment is almost up. He'll be replaced by Sergeant Boswell. Sergeant Boswell? Follow me by the numbers. Hurt, Herm. One, two. Hurt, Herm. One, two. Right shoulder. Herm. I want to cut. One, you don't three, trust me? Three, no. Four. I'll open with a file. 
I'll see your file and I'll raise you an all. Well, I'll call your all with a hoof cutter and I'll raise you a small one. You get this blunderbuss. Well, well, Sergeant, I, I can't exactly say I, I, I found it lying around. What's this? He's like old stuff he's got to pip. She's terrible sick, Sergeant Mike. Uh, I'm worried sick about it myself. I, I don't know what to do. She's really sick. The vet been here yet? Yeah. He, he said maybe it's some weeds that she ate on the parade ground, and now she's got poison wind. But that don't seem right, because I remember she ate a whole field full of weeds once. And never acted like this. I don't think the vet knows what to do. An old Sioux remedy. A Sioux remedy? Herbs, mixed by the dark of the moon, by six medicine men. No, that ain't gonna hurt none, is it? Oh, you know it wouldn't hurt, Seffy. Bit, huh? Well, that's all you need, you see. This is very strong. A little bit goes a long way.
You feel better now, Seffy? I think she's all right. Good girl, Seffy. Of a girl, join in. The shoemaker's holiday, March, March. Finally, give them some guns so they can go through the manual of arms. How did you ever do any marching or anything else? Oh, I've got a lot of endorsements in my file. You have? For what? I don't remember. Boswell. Evening, Boswell. Thank you very much, Mrs. Parent, and good night. Darling? Well, Sergeant, now that your party is off to a good start, I believe Mrs. Collingwood and I will leave. Oh, won't you stay, sir? Oh, I think you'll have a better time if we leave. Go ahead and dance. Enjoy yourselves. Good night. Good, good night, night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Well, what's the matter with you two fellas? A couple of wallflowers? Oh, no, sir. You see, we've been working too hard just trying to get the detail ready to go. Right, well, don't strain yourself, Sergeant. Good night. Good night. Oh, no, sir. You see, we've been working too hard trying to get the detail ready. Why, you do. What do you say we go and put a good word in for old Larry, huh? Yeah, for old... Beautiful party, Miss Amelia. Oh, thank you. Lovely party, Miss Amelia. Why don't you two join in? Well, thank you, but we've got a great deal on our minds, you know, about the expedition that's coming up and... Oh, you things. sure are lucky, Larry. This is going to be a rough one. Yes. Worse than the last one? Oh, oh by all means, yes. You told me all about that. My, you two should be very grateful to Larry for having saved your life so many times. <clears throat> oh, we are. Oh, we are. We certainly are. But you know, Mr. Merle, I think he's absolutely right. He should get out of this. After all, he's an educated man who can look forward to better things. I mean, he's not at all like Chip and I, you know. We're used to constant fighting and hardships. And it's beginning to tell a little bit on old Larry, don't you think so? Oh, Mike, I'm so glad to hear you say that, and you're so right, isn't he, Larry? Well, dear, isn't he? He's probably thinking about that cozy little home you're going to have. Fireplace. Maybe a little kitty cat on the rug. Slippers. And a smoking jacket. Peace and solid comfort, right? Mortgage. Oh, don't pay him any mind. He's just jesting. You know, Larry, it's a wonderful thing having understanding friends like this. Excuse me. Sergeant! Nice party, eh, Boswell? Yes, very nice party. Yeah. You see, uh, Mike and me, we've been meaning to talk to you. Talk to me? Mm -hmm. Sure, you see, your staff and uh, we're horse barn. You know, we don't get a chance to see each other. And I figure since we're going to be comrades, you know, together. That's, that's very nice of you, gentlemen. But it's true. It's true, Sergeant. We want to be one big happy family. That's the way we want it. Well, uh, I'm glad you bear me no ill will. No. I was merely doing my duty as a soldier, you know. <laughs> as we all must do. True, Sergeant, true. Hey, Chip, did you tell him about our secret? You see... A few of the fellows we got together, we chipped in and we uh, took up a collection. We sort of got some uh, fine drinking uh, whiskey. That's against regulations. Sergeant. Well, on a night like this. Yeah, right this way. Come on, let's do it.
Water, Sergeant? No, thank you. Hey. I always use a little uh, tonic myself. So I'll just take a little pinch of it. Through the expedition, gentlemen, to its success and its return. We, uh, we could be busted for this, you know. Oh, Sarge. Comradeship, good fellowship. It's wonderful to have in the army. It's good for morale of the men. Don't you think so, Sergeant? I'm I'm glad we finally become friends. I'm not a bad fellow, really. Just dedicated. Dedicated. To dedication. That's that's the best whiskey I have ever tasted. The, uh, you know, we, we know you're a dedicated sergeant and, uh, and the uh, colonel's confidence and, uh, well, the reason we didn't get together, you, your staff, and I guess we sort of resented it. I, I hope that's at an end. Sergeant, let us not be selfish with the tonic. You boy, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. Man! I am staff and you are horsepower. However, when we meet the enemy, I assure you... Oh, yes. Here's the book. Now, Larry, you stay right there and stand still. Oh, here, girls. Let's pretend these are your bouquets. One for you and <clears throat> one for you and one for you. Now stand up straight and look beautiful. And but oh no, you're the colonel. Here, here, dear. Uh, now stand up straight and smile. Yes, Mama. Now come on down, darling. And take the colonel's left arm. Yes, Mama. That's right. Now <sighs> music. Oh, and there's Sergeant Allen. I'm the best man. Oh, that's right, you're the best man. And there's the minister. I'm the preacher Walling. <laughs> Jenny, let's have no levity. Oh, Mama, Jenny was only having a little fun. <laughs> Oh, Mom. Oh, Please, don't start. Amelia, naturally, your mother's Larry, upset. Larry, here, I'm awfully well, sorry. Oh, Larry, he understands me better than my oh, own daughter. Amelia, Amelia, Wait a minute. Hold it.
report for duty? What happened to Boswell? Sergeant Boswell came down with a, uh, a, um, he had a gastric attack. Gastric attack. Sorry, ma'am, but he's got to report at once. Larry? What is it? What does it mean? It means my two wonderful friends, my pals, can't seem to get along without me. You're going to have to go on the expedition? That's right. Oh, Larry. I knew they'd figure a way. Do you mean Mike and Chip did this? Nobody else. Well, Larry, that's outrageous. Well, dear, can't you do something about it? Talk to someone. Talk to the colonel. No, that wouldn't do any... Maybe it would. Amelia, would you mind being in a town alone with 36 men? Well, no, Larry. Not if you're there. I'll be there. Sickening. Howdy, ma'am. Welcome to Medicine Bend. Thank you. Sure good to get here. It was a rough ride. Yeah, the boys fixed you up a real nice place. <clears throat> All to yourself. They did. Well, thank you, Mike. Chip. You are welcome. Yeah, well, it's uh, right over here. How long is she going to stay? Overnight. It'll be a long night. You just going to stand around and let her take him away like that? Uh, in here? Nicest place in town for you. Combs, mirror. Lovely, just lovely. Look. Hot water. Bathtub. And we hung the drapes. Oh, it's Jonah, he picked the wildflowers. Oh, Larry. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Amelia, Amelia, what's the matter? Nothing, it's just so sweet. <laughs> Larry, aren't you off duty yet? Two minutes and 15 seconds.
stock and ship. One hand of large guy. No, 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 no. I've been looking all over for you. Uh, Caleb and I got something important to you. Go ahead, Caleb. Tell him about it. It's about, about the Wanahi Wasipi. The, the, what, the what? The ghost answers. Ghost answers? All's well, and I'm off duty. All right, so you're off duty. Off my last duty. Pretty soon I'll be back east. Nice clean office, no Indians, no dust. No danger. Oh, uh, Mike. Yeah? I don't quite know how to say this. After all we've been through together. Go ahead and say it. You're a louse. Out of here. I've got work to do. Work? Will you hear what I gotta tell you? You'll forget about work. Mm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a hero out of you, a hero out of me, and a hero out of good old Larry. What are you talking about? What's the biggest danger this country is in right now? I don't know. Ghost dancers. Ghost dancers? Yeah. And I know where their medicine man hangs out. Huh? You know what? I know where they hang out. So you and me and good old Larry, we jump on our horses, we ride out there, and we creep in, we grab him. No more ghost dancers, no leaders, no chain of command, no medicine man, no ghost dancers. How about that? Mm -hmm. See, I knew you'd be interested, Mike. Now look, when we get this guy, we bring him back here, right? And we put him under heavy guard. You send a courier to the fort to the good old colonel. He'll come back here, get him, and we'll get every medal in the book. You and me and good old Larry. Smart? Uh, you can do better than that, Chip. What are you drinking tonight? Come on, Mike. I'm serious. Where's your patriotism? Patriotism? Where yeah. did you get this cock and bull story? You had help. Yeah. Jonah. Jonah? And Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, they're friends, and Caleb is half Sioux. And uh, he's got a lot of cousins up in the North Country, you know? They hunt and fish and trap and do everything. And one of his cousins was telling Caleb that he saw all these guys up in the high places, you know, with the uh, lights going and uh, yelling and screaming. That's how we found out. And you believed it? Sure, I believe You believe this stupid, idiotic rumor? Sure, I do. You mean we just go and we grab him and we bring him back and we get the medal? Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you remember what the colonel said before we left the fort? What did he say? He said this is to be a garrison only. No fights, no sorties, and no exceptions. Now, Mike, this is an emergency. Now, go to bed, sleep it off, and forget about it. That's an order. That's an order? That's an order. You may outrank me a little bit with all these uh, little fancy doodads, but you're still nothing but a lousy non com I'm in command. But well, don't give me that command stuff. You listen to me, Mike. If you don't do anything about this, I'm going to, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I can put you in jail. In jail? In jail. For what? Insubordination. You really mean it, don't you? I mean it. Insubordination? Insubordination. Oh. OK. Want to be insubordination? Let's make it good. Come on. Get up. Come on. Come on. Put him up. Come on. Come on. I'm not afraid of you. Come on. 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 The 
Curtis, no matter? Drunk. Lock him up. Hey, Jonah. You gotta get me out of here. We'll go up and get the ghost dancers ourselves. And when we do, I'll outrank him. Then will the colonel let me enlist? Sure he will, sure he will. But you've got to get me out of here. I got an idea. Okay. What are you doing here, Jonah? Just visiting. Bye. Bye. Hi, Ellis. Hello, Sarge. Hi, Perry. Hi, Sarge. Hey, come here. Come on, I want to talk to you. Come here. Uh, how long before the next payday? About two weeks. So? Two weeks, huh? Well, uh, aren't you guys getting a little short? Hmm? Uh, we've heard all about you, Sarge. Okay, that's strict Three. orders about you, Sarge. No, I just want to help you out a little. Words you know, out. we've heard all about it, Sarge. We've been warned about you, Sarge. No, all you have to do is just, Bye. uh... Bye, you dirty, stinking rats! That mule. Seffy and I, go, we don't get you out of here. Now, you just back off. Wait, 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 wait back off, Tom. No, wait a minute. We're going to get you out. Now, you back off. Jonah. I said back off. Come on. Come on, Seffy. Come on. That's it, Seffy. Give a good one. Thank you. Give up good harm. Come on back here. Well, let's get a little hard one now. Gotta get that shit out of there. Yeah! Zippy! Come on! Easy! Easy! Well, you watch it, the whole building's gonna come down. Doing the best they can, Sarge. Easy! Easy! got the gun and the horses, your gun belt, food and water and everything, and two horses in the drawer. Come on, we got to get out of here. Will you come on? The jail fell down? That's right, Mike. He's telling the truth. Chip is gone. Why that drunk? Do we pursue him? Bring him back? No, forget about it. If he's looking for the ghost dancers, maybe he'll find them. They'll know what to do with them. Okay, on your way. You too, civilian. Much farther we got to go, this is the real end of nothing. Soldiers never come this far along the river. Only maybe 
few white trappers. Unknown country. It sure is. In the old days, many hunting Sioux lived along the river. There's a high place where the Sioux worshiped. Well, that's what we're looking for, right? We'll find it. Right? Right. Well, what are we hanging around here for? Let's get out. We gotta cross this thing. Trappers and Sioux use it. This thing's safe. It's been here 125 years. Jonah. Stay here with the horses, Caleb and I'll cross over and take a look. What's that in Jim? What is it? Well, do you remember what you said? That, that maybe the, the colonel will let me enlist? But he won't let me do nothing if you leave me here with the horses. Well, Caleb knows the way. Now, what's the matter with you? You want to get us lost? Well, I know the way, too. Caleb told me. And besides, you promised me. Now, what could I have promised you? I didn't know what we were getting into. Well, that show is going to mess everything up. Caleb, you think we can find a way OK? Yes, Sergeant. Just follow the trail. You can't miss it. All right. If you're elected, come on. Thanks, Sergeant. Uh, I'm right behind you, Sergeant. I'm right here. Help me. Will you get her off of that bridge? Grab it. More than she is. Hold it. I'll get her. I'll get her. Tell her to get back. Not that way, Caleb. Not that way. Seffy. Seffy, me. Do you love me? Let's get off that bridge. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. You can't, son. I mean, I can't. Because, well, if it wasn't for Seffy, you'd still be in jail. Yeah. That old knot hit. Come on. place that Caleb was talking about. Come on, now. Let's go right along the ledge here.
That's a cave. What's in it? I, I can't rightly see from here. when the skin came off, abandoned. If those are crickets, they got wooden legs. There don't seem to be no ghost hands around here. So why don't we leave? Come on. face of this image of our Lord would conquer. I tell you, the day is coming. Listen to me with the ears of the cunning fox, all of you. The day is coming. There will be peace and good hunting for us all. The white-tailed deer will return to the prairie. The buffalo will come back from the north in their millions, as in the days of our fathers. All this is promised by our master, Watanka, Lord of heaven and earth, whose bright face greets us at sunrise. Kill! It will be a golden day, a red day, golden with the promise of our future happiness. Kill. Red with the blood of those enemy intruders, the whites. But this great day, this promised day of Hutanka will not come of itself. The whites must be killed by our own hands. Kill. The streams of this hallowed land must run red with their alien blood. Kill. 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 We gotta find a way out of here. The colonel's gotta know. President of the United States of America, Ulysses S. Grant, you're all under arrest. Come on. Sergeant Mary. We found them, Sergeant Mike. Found who? The ghost dancers. Just where Caleb said they'd be, up on the high place. Wait a minute. Start again. 
We found the ghost dancer that Caleb told us about. They're up on the high place. Where's Sergeant Deal? They got him. Who got him? The ghost dancers. They, they got him there, and there's a whole bunch of them. And I'll tell you something, the only reason I got him is because of this here and the mass. They're gonna kill him, Sergeant. We better get moving, Mike, so we can get him out of there. You'll do nothing. You're a civilian. Can you find your way back there again? Yes, Sergeant Mike. Get two horses ready. Yes, sir. And get out of those silly clothes. Yes, Sergeant. Mike, are you taking a detail? Detail? The colonel would throw the book at me. And I'm going with you. You trying to crawl back in the army, Sergeant? We don't need you. This has got nothing to do with the army, and I'm not going to re-enlist. <clears throat> well, if you really want to help your friend Chip, just sign that. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm not signing anything except this marriage certificate. And you don't go. We can't have any meddling civilians hanging around. The Army cannot be responsible for you getting your hair lifted. I'll fill the rest in later. Come on, soldier, get your stuff. What is it, Larry? What's wrong? Oh, Chip's in trouble. I've got to help Mike find him. What kind of trouble? Indian trouble. Real live Indians? Of course, real live Indians. What are you driving at? Nothing. Just thinking about Sergeant Boswell's gastric attack. What has Sergeant Boswell's gastric... In a word, trickery. Trickery? Oh, Larry, can't you see they're doing it again? All right, so even if it were true, and I don't believe for one single minute that it is, there are an awful lot of other soldiers here that can take care of it. They don't need you. Amelia, th this may be hard for you to understand, but Chip is my friend. Your what? My friend. I know it's hard for you to understand that. Yes, it's that. hard for me to understand after all the things he's done to you. Well, what am I? Don't I count? Don't my feelings matter after coming all the way out here? Amelia, I know it's, it's very hard, and if you would just listen... No, I won't listen. You listen to me, Larry. My folks didn't want me to come all the way out here. In fact, my mother was very angry. And if something happens, and we don't get started back this morning... Well, if you have to go looking for Chip... Larry, if you go after Chip, then that's the end for us. That's the kind of a man you want. What do you mean? Someone will run out on his friends when they're in trouble? Friends? And what makes you so sure about the trouble? Amelia, you don't want a man, you want a mouse, and I am not oh, a... Oh, you're so right! Then it's settled. Yes. Larry? Yes. Be careful. Oh, please take care of yourself. I will. This here is where we almost lost Sergeant Chip. How much further? That, that high place up there. It's the only way up. Or down. What if the Indians are up there? We gotta find Chip. This is it, Sergeant. Looks pretty deserted to me. You hope. This the cave you talked about? Yes. You going in there? Certainly. How do you know there's no one in there? I don't know. Are you going in anyway? You got any better ideas? Come on.
smiled on us this day, sir. Yes, father. Untie him. He will never be untied now. We ask him questions. He would not answer. So we leave him here to rot. No food, no water. Till great buzzards come. He's a cute kid, Mike. So his son. Here! Ask a question. You tell. Where is Colonel and his troops? They're at the fort. I give you one more chance. Where is Colonel and his troops? At the fort. Are you ready to answer? If game had you on, Kay. Last silence. Are you ready to answer? Wait, wait. Well, I don't know what the Colonel's plans are, but he's got a piece of paper in his pocket. He's got some information on it. I don't know that button. Traitor! Dirty, rotten traitor! You say, tell, you say. You had it upside down. No chance, soldier. Even with this, no chance. Release my people. Quickly! Hedges Leo. Hedges Leo! Get your people down the trail. No, Father, no! Let him kill me! Get him down the trail or I'll cut his throat. Let him kill me! Good, are for a big plate of corned beef, a nice tall deer with a big, thick head on it, about two inches thick. Head like yours. Well, Larry, at least you won't have to be worrying about, uh, you know, practicing law and wearing those high, thick collars and defending those thieves. Oh, he forgot about that already. Mm -hmm. Gave it up. Oh, welcome back, Larry.
If I don't get something to eat soon, I'm gonna look like one of them skulls. We don't figure a way on how to get down from here. You won't need any food, because you're gonna have no place to put it. How about we eat that Indian? straight down the valley. Already I see the totem on its pole. White and red stripes. He means the flag. Watanka, my honored father, son of the sun god, planted so. All will come, all will die. We are hundreds and we lie in wait. Beyond the ridge of the north, beyond the ridge of the south, where the rocks narrow, the long knives will come straight down the valley. The valley narrows. All will die. Watanka! Can you hear me? You give your word to your warriors to move, we kill your son and throw him down to you. Don't listen, father. Don't listen. The sun god, our lord, will take me to his heart. Give the order. No! I'm warning you, chief. We kill him. Don't listen, father. Give the order. Give the order. No! Sergeant Chip. Yeah. I'm a soldier now, ain't I? Now you watch your comrades die.
Number 89. On June 23, 1873, this command engaged a numerically superior hostile Indian tribe and emerged victorious. This victory was made possible by the extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty of Sergeants Michael Mary, Charles Deal, and Lawrence Barrett of this command, and a civilian by the name of Jonah Williams, now private. <laughs> who will report to the 10th Cavalry. These men, who through their daring and valiant action were able to warn this command, 
of an ambush and thereby turn a possible annihilation into a victory. For their conspicuous gallantry, undaunted courage, and fortitude, they have this date been recommended to the Secretary of War to receive the Certificate of Merit. Larry, you don't understand. Just show him what we really think about his reenlistment papers. You mean that? Yep. I know what to say. It's all right. Look after yourself. Sergeant Boswell. Yes? Arrest that man. He's a deserter. 